Hello everyone, I'm glad you could join me. It's one of those milestone videos on the Game Boy Advance because we've, um, well, we've gone past it now, but we've reviewed uh, over a hundred, that's a hundred Game Boy Advance games, and every time we do a block of 50, we have a look over them briefly, and I try and talk over the top. So if you've seen any of these other videos, you know what's going to happen. So, deep breath for me, so let's have a look at Game Boy Advance games reviewed 51 to 100. GT Advance 2 Rally Racing, as racing games go on the Game Boy Advance, this is a pretty solid one. Small improvements over the original game GT Advance, but I like all of them in this series. You get a lot for your money, uh, there's a lot of cars to unlock and a number of tracks. Um, easily playable straight away invites you in, and this guy telling you where to go. Sharp left, sharp right, or whatever. Yes, it's a very good game and um, it'll keep you coming back for more. You won't complete this all in one go. Steven Gerrard's Total Soccer 2002, heavily influenced, I think, on Kickoff 2 on the Commodore Amiga. It's a top-down football game. It's a little bit slow, but um, it's one of the best football games you can get on the Game Boy Advance. Plays quite good. And it takes a bit to get used to. Passing is easier than Kickoff 2, so, you know. Um, lots of teams to choose from. Uh, Europe there. But Steven Gerrard does not make appearance at all, so they've just slapped his name on it. There we go. Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow. You're probably aware of the Castlevania games. All of them are quality on the Game Boy Advance. I really enjoyed uh, playing this one. It's a platformer where you control a vampire who must, well, beat everyone in, I think. But uh, graphics are absolutely gorgeous on this one. If you can pick this up and you have a Game Boy Advance or emulation, I would fully recommend it. Take that, skeleton. Du, 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 du. Now, the Sega Smash Pack, you get three games on this. The first one is Golden Axe, which is always a firm favourite. Doesn't play too badly on the Game Boy Advance, although there's not much of the screen to work with. Um, but, you know, it's pretty accurate. You can tell it's Golden Axe. All three characters are playable. Axe Battler, Tyrus Flare and Gilius Thunderhead. The levels are identical to any other version you might have played. I think the graphics are lifted as well. So that's one on the Sega Smash Pack. The other games you get are Sonic Spinball, which is a pinball game, and I'm always a fan of pinball, but instead of a ball, you've got Sonic the Hedgehog. It's an interesting idea. Uh, table's a little bit complicated. Um, you've got multiple tables, um, upper and lower, that you can unlock as you go along. But once you get used to this, you can get loads and loads of points. Um, I've also played this on the PlayStation 3, which we're coming to at some point. Um, there. Sonic Spinball. Reacts quite well. Quite good ball mechanics. Echo the Dolphin. Um, again from the Sega Smash Pack. It's not one of my favourite games. It's a little bit gentle. But you control Echo the Dolphin and all his friends have been kidnapped at some point and he has to go on an adventure to find what's happened to them all. Yeah, I know. It's weird. If you don't know what to do, you can spend ages just swimming around being a dolphin. So it's quite relaxing in that respect. This is at the start of the game when nothing bad has happened. Mechanics of the Dolphin are quite good, so it is original, did have a sequel. GT Advance 3 Pro Concept Racing, weather conditions in this one as well. Uh, handles similar to the previous GT Advance game that we looked at at the beginning of this uh, review. Nice little map there to see where you're going. Again, lots of cars to unlock. If you're a fan of the first two games, you'll surely like this one as well. Cars are up upgradable, nice wide track. It's good, a lot to like here. If you're into racing games, then this is a good one to look out for. If you're not, well, well, don't then. Why are you buying a racing game if you're not into them? There we go. Silent Scope. This is quite a novel game, this one. Uh, you must shoot people with your scope, but all these people are bad. There's firing ranges, different levels, and the graphics are quite good, and it plays quite good as well. We're just taking a shot there. I think we're working for the police, or at least I hope we are. Interesting game bit hard just on the buttons, it's crying out for a light gun, but you don't have a light gun with the uh, Game Boy Advance. I don't think you do anyway. Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. Now Star Wars is a great game, uh, well great film, but this is a terrible game. Flight of the Falcon. It starts off quite promising, but the levels are quite long and boring. You control the Millennium Falcon, then on Tatooine controlling a sand speeder. But if the levels are a lot shorter, it might be worth having a look at. But this is basically most uh, of the game, which most people will see. If you destroy just a few um, TIE Fighters, you think, yeah, great, we're getting somewhere. But they keep coming and coming and coming. 
F0 GP Legend, one of the classics on the Game Boy Advance. There's a few in this series. Um, uh, quite fast once you get used to it. A number of different vehicles to unlock. Look at that speed. Uh, 800, 900 kilometers an hour. Shortcuts to take as well. So you will learn as you play this one. It's excellent. I do like my racing games and the Game Boy Advance has got quite a few of them, it has to be said. Jumps as well. Colin McRae Rally 2, one of the classics on all systems. Uh, this is probably my favourite rallying game there. Um, it's much better than GT Advance rallying. It just feels different. It's trying to be a sim and arcade at the same time. But there's lots to like about Colin McRae Rally 2. Lots of different stages throughout the world. Um, the car just does uh, fly all around the place, so uh, it rewards practice. Doesn't repeat as much as you would have thought for a Game Boy Advance game. Um, it works really well. Tucker World Touring Cars. It's an okay game, but there's no undulation whatsoever, so the whole experience is a bit flat. If you're used to playing this on the PlayStation or Xbox, you'll be disappointed with this. The sounds are a bit high, they sound like Formula One cars. So though it's competent, it's nothing special. Tucker World Touring Cars. There's better races out there, uh, and that is for sure. But there is a championship and enough to unlock. Final Fight 1, I do like this conversion, it's not using too much of the screen the character's big in, big in comparison, the advantages of that you get better definition, it plays really well, uh, much better than the Amiga version of Final Fight and probably the best conversion that I've seen, um, I haven't seen it on the Sega, but you know, it, it, it's good, I really enjoy it, it's a choice of three characters to pick and uh, much like Double Dragon or uh, Streets of Rage you must beat absolutely everyone up and then kill a boss at the end. 007 Nightfire in the style of Doom and Duke Nukem, it's a first person shooter, uh, a little bit blocky uh, now by today's standards but it's Doom with the uh, James Bond skin on it, uh, Nightfire. Brilliant, a lot to like in this game, it's pretty tricky, but once you get used to it, you um, know what to do. Good colour palette and good um, textures. Go James Bond, go! Die. James Bond 2, codename Robocod. The original James Bond didn't come out on the Game Boy Advance, but the second one certainly did. The levels are slightly different to the Amiga version, which I first played. It's quite a cute game, uh, combines James Bond and Robocop and a fish. Yes, lots of um, friendly levels. The idea is you must rescue um, lots of toys. Um, and Santa's got something to do with it as well, and evil penguins, I think. But um, there's loads to do in this game. It'll keep you going forever. Good platform game. Sega Championship Rally, another rallying game. To my mind, not as good as Colin McRae Rally 2. Uh, it's a bit arcadey. It's a little bit easy to tell you the truth there. There's not too many sharp bends. Just a question of flooring it the whole way round. If you like rally games, it's not too bad. Uh, it doesn't look as pixelated as this on a Game Boy Advance screen if you're looking at it on a big telly. So a few of these um, will do. Checkpoint. Sega Championship Rally. A lot of good rallying games on this system. Uh, this isn't that good. So Tokyo Extreme Racer Advance. You must go around different cities throughout the world. Most notably Tokyo and I think London makes an appearance. And challenge gang members to races. Uh, so basically those green dots on the map are the gang members by driving behind them you activate a challenge and a race It's a little bit boring to be honest with you uh, Good textures again though on the bridges. It does show a bit of urban dirt about the place. Okay there, but nothing special uh, Avoid this one Ultimate Spider-Man a platform game one of the better Spider-Mans on the Game Boy Advance It looks quite basic looking at it now, but it plays quite well a number of different moves, web slinging, uh, you can stick to the walls and the ceiling. So a number of different ways to complete the levels. It introduces you in it quite well, it's well designed and it's, it's okay. It's not bad. I prefer Batman, which we'll be coming to in a little moment. Go Peter Parker, you're great. Go Pete. Now Super Monkey Ball Jr, this game is absolute genius on the Game Boy Advance. You control this marble by leaning, well, pressing the buttons, you can angle the table, and you collect the bananas in a certain time span and then put the ball through the um, exit. There's, as the game goes on, the levels get much more complicated than this one, but even how the Game Boy Advance managed to do this is absolutely brilliant, fantastic to see. Go! Check this one out if you've got a Game Boy Advance. Super Monkey Ball Jr. 
The King of Fighters EX2 Howling Blood. For some reason I reviewed this one before the first one, EX1. Uh, this is better than the first one, which we'll see in a couple of moments. But um, really impressive for a handheld disc. The shading of the characters, the number of different moves is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and it works in sort of like um, a team mode, so if my player gets destroyed, uh, another player comes on, so you select a team of three people. And that's quite novel, really. Bruce Lee, Return of the Legend. This game is another awesome one, another great. It's, you have to learn the moves first of all, and this is what these early levels are about. And before you know it, you're in massive fights, attack, attacking out of groups of people all at the same time. Nunchucks, different weapons. Uh, it's good. The number of different moves on this is awesome. It's based on stealth and fighting. Bruce Lee, Return of the Legend. A welcome return. What up? Uh, the King of Fighters EX1 Neo Blood. Uh, as you can see, not quite as advanced as the second game, but still okay in its own right. It's a typical fighter. Again, you can pick a, a team of players. Um, a lot of the players here are in uh, the second one too. It, it's, um, it's okay, but compared to EX2, which is more refined, uh, there's no real reason to buy this one. King of Fighters. Quite a few fighters on the Game Boy Advance. This one's Guilty Gear X Advance Edition. Do check out Street Fighter, which I reviewed in the first uh, 1 to 50. Um, this is okay. It seems like it's got frames missing, though. The animation isn't quite as good, and it's not quite as well polished as the King of Fighters game. So if you're going to choose, pick one of those before this one. If you disagree, that's fine, but it just seems a bit stuttery, this, for my, for my money. Guilty Gear X Advance Edition. Win! Inspector Gadget Racing, more of a kid's game this one. For me, it's very slow and pedestrian. There's different um, levels. Sometimes you're flying, sometimes you're in this gadget car. I liked Inspector Gadget as a cartoon. This race, I was very disappointed to look at this one. It's just so slow and bulky and clunky. If you had it back in the day as a kid, you might have some nostalgia for it. I haven't, so I, I don't really like it that much. There are much better races to come. If you compare this with Mario's Super Circuit, then it doesn't compare, really. Uh, Droopy's Tennis Open, I don't know why they picked Droopy for this, but if you wipe away these cartoon characters, it's a fairly competent tennis game. Not the most exciting thing in the world, if you have other tennis games and no real reason to buy this. On the Game Boy Advance, the lot of tape tennis games play identical to me, it's just the uh, the characters and the different courts. But it's, it's okay. You'd get bored quite quick, I'd imagine. Droopy, he's the most depressing cartoon character of all time. You can unlock characters. Now this is a good game. Metal Slug Advance on the Game Boy Advance, of course. Uh, multiple weapons, moves really fast, speech is great. It's one of those games where you wonder how they've managed to do it on, on such a small system. Uh, another must-buy if you own a Game Boy Advance or emulation. Metal Slug Advance, different levels, fantastic end-level bosses and vehicles. It's absolutely awesome. I can't praise this game highly enough. It's superb. Rescue hostages. Don't kill anyone. Uh, deal or No Deal, based on the TV series, the American one, not the British one. Uh, it's pretty boring, really. You open boxes to collect money. If you're a fan of the TV show, you'll probably like this one. But how much replay value has it got? Not much. And you're never going to take the money. You're always going to go to the end because it's not real money. Interesting to kill a bit of time. But whether it's a long-term purchase, uh, probably not. Oh dear, look, 300,000, I could have done with that. Deal on no deal, no deal for me. This game's nuts, it's Dragon Ball Advance Adventure. I only reviewed this because of a recommendation. I still don't know what's going on on this. It's a platform stroke fighter, uh, very Japanese-y, you control Goku, and if anyone knows what's going on, let me know. Char characters appear out of nowhere, people turn into pigs and various other bits and pieces, and it's never fully explained as he flies on this cloud stroke brain thing. It's madness. Put your brain back together after playing this game. But it's good though. Uh, WWE Road to WrestleMania 18 or X8, however you want to play it. Graphically it's good. Uh, there's good walk-on scenes as each wrestler comes into the ring. Uh, there's lots of different modes, but you can't get away from the fact that the gameplay is rather clunky. There's lots of moves, but you never feel fully in control of the ring. And it just seems slow and lethargic. It's a shame really, because the crowd are good and everything else about it is good, but... It's okay, it's not brilliant. Go Hulk Hogan, he's the man. Is he? 
Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. This game's absolutely brilliant. It's a polygon a racer, moves really fast. Competition's good, A and I's good. Lots of different tracks to unlock. We're on a Jurassic one here, but there's spiders and various other things. You do stunts as you go over those uh, bends for extra points. Uh, fully recommended Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. Great game. I love polygon racers, and there will be another one in this summing up. Good music tool. Dee -dee -dee. Boing. Saber Wolf. Now, based on the game in the ZX Spectrum from years before, which was a, a top down game where you went through the jungle trying to find the Saber Wolf, this is now a platform game which pays homage to that. Run like the wind. Like it's alright. Um, I expected something more, but it's competent. Graphically, it's okay. Animation is good, but it's not much like the Saber Wolf on the original Spectrum game. Uh, it's a different game, really, and it's stolen the Saber Wolf license. Would have caught a few people. Now, Family Feud, uh, as it's known in the United States, uh, the TV show, uh, is based on the game Family Fortunes, uh, if you're in the UK, where basically two families compete against each other, and they do look rather weird in this one, uh, and they must get the top 10 surveyed answers to win cash and prizes. There's some bizarre families in this game, but um, if you're into the show, you'll like it as games go. I wouldn't say it's brilliant, but it's competent on what it does. And look at this family. Who the hell are they? I wouldn't live, like to next door to them. Right, Pinball of the Dead. I love pinball, and this is a great pinball table on the Game Boy Advance. You get a choice of three tables. They're all multi-table, i.e. Um, you've got an upper, lower, and middle uh, table to get to. Ball physics aren't too bad. Feels a bit floaty, but that's okay. You can get used to it. At least it's consistent, and quite often there are zombies running around the table. Lots to unlock, it's uh, well worth it if you're into pinball and have got this handheld. It's great! Sort of a game I'd like to see on the PlayStation 4. Another polygon racer, Drone Racers. It's up there with Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. It's maybe even a little bit quicker. Uh, the circuits have got more straights in it, it's more into racing. There's boost there as well. Out of the two, I slightly favour this one than the Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge, but it's very, very close. Another awesome game if you're into polygons, and I think polygon races work really well on this system, it's a shame there wasn't more of them really. Works better than sprites, moves quickly, and hasn't got to render textures, which is awesome. Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed, this does have textures, but look at this cockpit view, and I'm always a fan of that. Reminds me of uh, Test Drive 2 when you have the, that dot on the steering wheel, so I'm a fan of it already. Moves really fast, sometimes it's a bit hard to see where you're going because it's trying to render textures there, but it's good car doesn't slide around too much, there are lots of different levels and modes to do. I love Need for Speed on anything. And this, uh, you unlock different Porsches as you go along. If you're a Porsche fan or just a Need for Speed fan, you'll like that. Penny Racers, based on the toy uh, from the 80s, where you put a penny in the back and the car did a wheelie. Here it is now in a game of format. Uh, pretty bog standard, really. There's nothing to write home about. Uh, if you like these sort of racing games, then... Uh, you'll probably like this one as well. Much better than Inspector Gadget Racing, but again, there are better examples. Much better than Crazy Frog Racing, but there are better examples, as I say. It's not overly exciting, and it just stands fair. Star X, this game is another genius game. Uh, polygon Racing, you control this uh, ship. We're not racing, flying, I should say. Destroy all the baddies, collect upgrade, destroy bolts, uh, and this will keep you going for a while. It's quite tricky, but um, it rewards patience. Um, it's quite clever. There's not too many games uh, like this one around. Different um, levels as well. This is the C1, but you can go over land and um, lots to do. Worth checking out this one. A good shooter. Star X. Wolfenstein 3D. Another one in the mode of Doom or 007 Nightfire. Uh, based very closely on the PC game and it represents it really, really well. I love this game and I tend to love all Doom sort of like games. Wolfenstein 3D. It's another great one to add to your collection if you've got the Game Boy Advance or even the PC. So these originals have got a certain charm to them. They look square by today's standards but controls really well and it's quite basic to do. It'll have you addicted. Mike Tyson Boxing. Here he is, the man himself. Um, now, this game might not look much first of all but it is addictive again as you learn how to block. Holding the button down gives super punch, but does make you a bit vulnerable, and hopefully you can uh, beat up these fictional characters. That one's based on Ivan Draco from Rocky IV, and as you can see, I knocked him out good and proper there. Different rings around the world. Um, I recommend it if you're into boxing. Mike Tyson's boxing. Ding, ding. 
NASCAR Heat 2002, uh, based on the NASCAR series. I wasn't overly impressed with this one because I personally thought the camera was too close to the car so you couldn't see um, bends until they was actually on top of you. But people in the comment section said, look, uh, you have got direction to let you know where you're going and um, you put in the practice, it's quite a good game. So that's why the comment section is always good because a lot of these games I'm only playing for the first or second time and uh, if you put in the experience, uh, I, I like seeing your knowledge. So it's not as bad as what I thought. Premier Action Soccer, unlike Steven Gerrard, this is a horizontal um, kick around. It's not too bad, passing is quite good. Uh, a lot of football games passing is tricky, so I quite like this one. Premier Action Soccer. Uh, I prefer Steven Gerrard's though, but as 2D ones go, this isn't too bad. This is Trinidad versus Great Britain, or England I should say. Boof. Probably be better off with FIFA to be honest with you. Uh, Harry Potter's Quidditch World Cup. Now this is basically football on broomsticks. Uh, if you're aware of Quidditch from the films, you have to take this snitch thing and throw it through a hoop. You throw it to your other players who are also on broomsticks. Uh, and this goalkeeper would try and stop you. Here's us versus Hufflepuff or Sugarpuff or whatever they are. It's not bad. There's a few mini games as well. Um, what's bad about this is you could be winning 6-0 or something. And then this... There's this special bit where you have to catch the golden snitch, and that's worth about a million, billion, trillion points, rendering the game useless. So it's Disney Sports Basketball. This is quite a nice idea. The reflections on the um, ground are quite good, giving a bit of depth. Um, it's okay. It's two-on-two -two basketball. Uh, needs a bit of practice on it. It's a bit addictive. You can play against someone else with the link cable if you've got that. It's all right, but I'm not really that much into basketball games, so I can pretty much take it or leave it. But good to see... Goofy doing a slam dunk. Superstars versus the Sea Ducks there. Gadget Racers. Now this um, looks very similar to Penny Racers because I think this is the name it was called when it was in the States because I don't think Penny Racers was big out there. But it's not exactly the same. There's a few different uh, tracks but it's undeniably using the same um, engine. Uh, here I, uh, I'm on the wrong tyre so the car's sliding all around the place because it's raining. Gadget Racers, the same as Penny Racers. If you've got one, there's no real point in buying the other one. Not to get confused with Inspector Gadget Racing, which is a different thing entirely. Now, Batman Begins, this game is absolutely awesome. Very atmospheric. Look at that rain. The music is good, very foreboding. Um, attention to detail with these lights flashing on, on and off. Fighting is good, a number of weapons. This is the ba best Batman game I've ever seen, really, or ever played. Batman Begins. It's all platforming and fighting and stealth if you crash through the ceiling there. But a lot to do here and Albert will keep coming in every now and again telling you what to do. World Tennis Stars, very similar playing to Droopy. Um, these are called World Tennis Stars but there's no World Tennis Stars here. They're all cartoon characters so I feel a little bit robbed. What's good about here though, the um, a man does announce the scores but you know, just another bog standard tennis game. Plays okay. Um, it's not bad at all, but it's just tennis. That and Droopy can more or less be the same game, to be fair. 30. Love 30. Super Army War. Now, this game is original. You control this helicopter and you must guard all your troops and capture bunkers. And then the computer guy, the AI, is going in the other direction trying to do the same thing. As soon as you've won the land, there is a sea mission. Pretty hard to control this helicopter first of all, the second stage is an even harder to control uh, airplane, but it's good. I enjoyed playing this one, I really did. Super Army War, pick up this one for interest value. Now Batman Vengeance is another great game, not as good as uh, Batman Begins, but there's various different stages. You can fly the bat uh, plane at some point as well, but it's based on the animated series rather than the film. Batman Begins was on the film. Batman Vengeance is based on the cartoon. So good to have a bit of variance here. Du, 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 du. Gotham City looks very red in the sky, doesn't it, really? Go Batman. Now, Tetris Worlds, not the most exciting game to review. It is Tetris. There's various different modes. So if you're into Tetris, you can't go wrong with this. Lots and lots of different modes keep you going forever and ever and ever and ever. What can I say about it? Well, it's Tetris, isn't it? Music, some of the backgrounds are a little bit iffy, but what can you do? Tetris. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves for a bit. Boof. Yeah, I levelled up there, great. 
And the last game of the uh, 100 is Motocross Maniacs Advance, as you go 51 to 100, very, very fast. Reminds you of an accelerated version of Wheelie on the ZX Spectrum. Plays quite good, not one of my favourites though, is a 2D horizontal racer. Different modes, ice stages, zombie mini games, and it's all there really. I can see this has been a lot of people's favourites. Collect the fuel, get to the end, win the races, avoid all these things. Yeah, good, good. So a lot of good games in this one. And there we go. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. Uh, games reviewed 51 to 100. If you like Game Boy Advance games or general games on the channel, then please subscribe because that keeps me going. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.